Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. A Quizzy here, and welcome back to another video for today. Today's video is actually gonna gonna be like another an, another another haul video where where I'm at where I actually where I actually show you guys all the things I got from this year's Baltimore Comic Con. Yeah, that's right. Me me and my dad went went to the Baltimore Comic Con this year, and 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 first of all, I gotta say. This year's Baltimore Comic Con was even better than ever because I thought it, I thought my my experience at the Balt I thought this I thought my own my I thought my experience at, at the 2023 Baltimore Comic Con was like better than ever like maybe maybe even better than last year's Baltimore Comic Con where I met John Leguizamo and Jody Benson. Yeah, because I actually did a lot of fun stuff this year at, at, at this year's Comic Con. I actually me and Dad did a little scavenger hunt where where we actually get some 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 illustrators and comic book artists and for for like signatures, and we collect all twenty of them and we get like some sort of like drawings and sketches from 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 the comic book artists, and and I also I also got to meet two voice actors who worked on Nightmare Before Christmas and of course the Don Bluth animated film All Dogs Go to Heaven. I went, I went, I, me and my dad went, went and meet Chris Sarandon and Ken Page, the voices of Jack Skellington, Oogie Boogie. And of course, Ken Page was also the voice of King Gator from All Dogs Go to Heaven as well. I also got pictures of, of, of two people in costumes of, of, of Batman, the Ben Affleck Batman, as well as the, the grabber from, from one of my, one of my all time favorite horror films of last year, The Black Phone. Barbarian is also one of my favorite horror films of last year, too. And speaking of that, happy one year anniversary to Barbarian. Yeah. So yeah, it, it was a fun time this year. And 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 next, now, now that I now that I told you guys about, about about my experience at this year's Baltimore Comic Con, I'm gonna be showing you guys all the things I got while I was there. The first two things I'm gonna be showing you guys is a, a Baltimore Comic Con hoodie. Yeah, it's like a little sweatshirt and hoodie. This is what it looks like. The Baltimore Comic Con logo is in red. It's got the hood there, as in hoodie or like a like a sweatshirt hoodie. Very cool. And I also got another another Comic Con T shirt. This one, this one's actually a short sleeve shirt. Since the one I wore the one I wore there was actually a long sleeve a long sleeve Baltimore Comic Con shirt with the Maryland flag pattern on it. And I think I actually first got the long sleeve shirt back when I first went there, back in like 2019 when I met Tara Strong, Greg Sipes there at the time. And this one I got is more like a short sleeve shirt. Like, yeah, this this one's a short sleeve version of the of the of the one I'm wearing. Yep. Cool. Alright, and next up right down here, I also got some some re really cool designs. So we got some bookmarks and some character buttons or magnets. First, I'm going to be showing you guys some some bookmarks here. I got these bookmarks while I was there from from different comic book artists, and it's got one of them has like the little like little like little Star Wars like 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 style Spider Squirrel and Trash Panda. It's kind of like Star Wars in terms of that pattern there. Yep. I also got an extra as well. And and for this bookmark, this one's actually this one's actually a comic panel from from one of the comics I got from while, while I was there while I was at Comic Con today. Looks like this. Yep. So that's the bookmarks I got, and so and and the character buttons and magnets I got. This one's at, this one this one actually came came from one of one, one of my one of my one of my the, <clears throat> first of all. This character button is actually like Dodge Bot. Yeah, that's his name, Dodge Bot. And and it's like, and it's like he's act he like Dodge Bot's actually a character from from Emilio Velas Jr.'s like comic book series or like you know his like his his own like his own like story series, the Dodgeball Teens. Yeah, shout out to him. He's an awesome guy. And this is that this is actually my second time I actually got to meet him as well. And we're also we're also like you know friends on like you know we're Facebook friends too. We. We sometimes keep in touch with each other. Cool. And I also got a, a character button magnet for COVID Cop, which was, which was actually one of the comics I got from Comic Con as well. COVID Cop. Yep. Got these two. Yep. Yep. 
so next up I'm gonna be showing you guys a few comics that I got before I let's see if I can find them here um they're here somewhere oh Oh yeah, here they are. Like, hold on, I'm still looking. Oh yeah, like here, here's the comic I was talking about, the the COVID cop um the comic that I got while I was there too. While I got the character button magnet as well. My my dad thought this was also a pretty cool comic as well, a pretty cool comic book. Yeah. Very nice and cool. And, oh yeah, and of course, this was, this was also like a little scavenger hunt si signatures from the different comic book artists uh, that I got to see there as well. While, while, when me and dad were doing the scavenger hunt there this year. And, I, and, and of course, I also got these sketches from the different comic book artists as well for collecting 20 signatures. It's got... And, yeah, very cool sketches and comic sketches. And, oh yeah, and plus, here's some more here. In, in, this, in this slip here, I got, like, a few, oh yeah, I also got another Dodgeball Teens comic. This, this one's actually his, his new comic that he just worked on recently. The, the Dodgeball Teens number 11. Yeah. Very, very nice. And let's see. Oh yeah, and here and here are the Jacks the pictures of Jack Skellington and, and Oogie Boogie, signed by their voice actors, Chris Sarandon and Ken Page. They also had a picture of both King Gator and Charlie on it from All Dogs Go to Heaven, but I decided to get Oogie Boogie. I decided to get the picture of Oogie Boogie instead since we know Oogie Boogie's is definitely you know, King, King Ken Page's famous role he's ever done. Yeah. And this one's Jack Skellington, signed by Chris Sarandon. And Oogie Boogie, signed by Ken Page. Yeah, I, I got I got a I, I got a lot lot of stuff from this year's Comic Con. It feels like I got I got a whole lot of them. <laughs> and let's see. I also got um Oh yeah, the 24th annual souvenir program i got these like i got these little like slips here these little booklets because th these booklets basically tell you where where which 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 aisle and where where the comic book writers and creators and illustrators are located and the celebrity signing and oh yeah and, and of course here's another comic book i got this one's actually um spider squirrel yeah, another comic that I got, and and on the back here it's got like like Charlie Mc Mc Evely, like whatever you want to pronounce his name. My apologies, that's him there. And I also got something really cute as well. It's it's also another Blue's Clues poster, another Blue's Clues comic like, like concept art as well. And this one's actually an anime style. I I also got another Blue's Clues like Blue's Clues anime poster as well. It's like the style of anime. It's got like it's got blue, green puppy, magenta, periwinkle, tickety talk, shovel and pail, and slippery soap, and Mr. Salt, Mrs. Pepper, and paprika, and mailbox. Yeah, tickety talk, like I said. It, and plus, the, the anime Blue's Clues poster also includes sprinkles as well. Yeah, that is sprinkles from, from the, from Blue's Room. Which, I, I know I'm not really, I'm not really that, I'm, I'm not really a fan of Blue's Room anymore, but, eh, whatever. I still got it anyway. And and of course I all and of course I also got a yearbook as well. I got a, a Baltimore Comic Con yearbook as well. Since it, since this this is actually the one where I got where I got where I met the the comic book the comic book artist there while I was collecting twenty signatures for the yearbook. Pretty cool. And oh yeah, and also while I was there, I also got a, a Super Mario figure as well. It's in this bag here. I got a, a, a Mario action figure from the Super Mario Brothers movie. Yep, I got it for, for $19.99, $20. It's got, like, Mario and his plunger. 
the Chris Pratt Mario. And this, to this toy was also released by Jack Pacific. Cool. And let's see. I'm, I'm half, I think I'm almost halfway done here since I think I, I think I almost showed you guys all, and almost everything that I got from, from the Baltimore Comic Con this year. Um, oh yeah. I almost forgot, I almost forgot to show one more thing for, for today's haul video, for today's Baltimore Comic Con haul. I also got, I also got three mini posters as well. Yeah. Because they actually had like a vintage, a vintage movie poster aisle as well there. And so I went and got three mini posters from there. I got the, I got a mini poster for the, for the 2019 Joker movie with Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, one, one of my favorite movies of 2019. I don't really care what anyone says. I still love this movie. Yeah, Joker. And I also got... I also got this poster for, for like a double feature movie called Grindhouse. Which I recently first heard about Grindhouse back, back when I was... I think it was a couple... I think it was like a couple of day, days ago when I first heard about Grindhouse. It's actually a double feature movie that, that includes both a Quentin Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez movie. And those movies would be Planet Terror and Death Proof, directed by Robert Rodriguez and Quentin Tarantino. And it was and, and the double feature was released on April 6th of 2007. And this, despite despite the double feature receiving positive reviews from critics, the double feature turned out to be a box office flop, and so these two movies were, were released separately in different in different international territories. But yeah, so. One of the, one of these days I'm gonna I'm gonna try and check out Planet Terror and Death Proof one of these days. When I can, whenever I have time. And the last mini poster I got today is actually a Lion King poster. This this Lion King poster is also is also the the, the 2002 IMAX re-release of the Lion King back back when this movie was re-released in IMAX theaters on Christmas Day in 2002. This one's like the like this one's was, was is the 2002 special edition where the Disney logo at the beginning is is the the flashlight logo, while the the pouncing scene during during this version is actually replaced with Simba singing the morning report, and of course like the closing credits instead of scrolling up they just like they just do like a little a little slideshow style of the credits at the end. Very cool. And I believe I believe that's all. Yeah, because I, I was just trying to make sure I show everything shown in the video, so, yeah. Yeah, I, I got a lot of stuff at this year's Comic-Con, and I actually had fun. Yeah. Yeah, Chris Sarandon and Ken Page were very nice. And, and there you go. Alright, guys, so that's going to be it for, for this video, so hope you guys liked it. And so, with that being said, thanks for watching, as always, and if you're not, if you're not subscribed yet... Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet, and make sure to like this video as well. With that being said, until next time, this is Mr. 8 Crazy saying, goodbye everybody and that's about it.